And Nick one has this to say, Clayton needs to eat crow and apologize to Pixar. Been waiting years for a great BO podcast. I've always been very interested in those aspects of movies. You guys always deliver, but I'm still waiting for the segment about elementals clutch legendary run that no one saw coming. So again, the headline in that five-star review is Clayton needs to eat crow and apologize to Pixar. So a lot of great five-star reviews there, but Clayton, can you respond to Nick one and whether or not you're going to eat crow right now? All right. I will not be eating any crow. Okay. But I do. I'm going to look at these elemental numbers to see where this legendary supposed run actually is living. So you, you're, I feel like you're already starting in a very antagonistic spot with our listener, Nick one. I just want to see where it stacks up. Okay. okay? I want to see what this gentleman, middle-aged male person, of course, because he's a Pixar fan. Wow. He could be a young, a, a kid, a young trendsetter who loves Pixar. You don't think that Pixar has young trendsetter fans? Uh, no, I don't believe so. I believe there's young Mario fans. I believe there's young Spidey cartoon fans. I believe there's young Crunchyroll fans. Okay. I'm yet to believe there are still any young elemental and or Pixar fans that are not being dragged to these movies by their middle-aged male parents. So this movie now, is at 151 million. Okay. You, yep. You're saying that this is an audience of only 50 year old people and, and children's that have been forced to attend with these 50 year olds. Yes, absolutely. There, I mean, there's enough of those people in this country for them to make 151 million. I'm trying to see where it stacks up all in on Pixar domestically because I think it's still at the very low end here. It's definitely going to be on the low end of movies from the current era or, you know, the last 15, 20 years of Pixar. Obviously, the movies in the 90s are going to have lower total grosses than the movies that came in that 2004 or 5 to 2018, you know, Inside Out era. Yeah. So one, but 151. Here's, here's okay. what I'll say to Nick. Okay. Nick, I'm sorry. It's a I lot apologize. of N's in there. He's Nick. got a lot And of if ends. I'm missing an N, I apologize. Mm -hmm. Just because this movie is not an outright disaster does not mean it is legendary. Yes. Did it make more money than we all expected it to? Yes. Fact. Those are facts. So you have me on that. But the deifying of this movie I mean, it's akin to The Rock deifying the the his uh, his a uh, uh, black uh, what is that black, black Adam. Adam movie? Yeah, I can't even remember the name of the movie. The Black Adam movie. Okay, just because this movie did not completely crater and disappear does not make it legendary or successful. And I know people are going to say, "Well, it made around the same as Puss in Boots." It's it, that's a different category here. Pixar used to be a gold standard. It used to be not a wait and see. It used to be you must see. And now it's a wait and see. It, Pixar's brand is diminished and it will continue to diminish. And just because this wasn't a major disaster does not make it legendary. Now, but I will give you Nick one that I, I guess Nick, Nick by itself was just taken. So you had to do Nick one. I will give you that it was surprising and anything that puts butts in the theater seats is good. So even if it is, it's not my business that adult middle-aged men are dragging their kids kicking and screaming away from their video game systems or away from watching Mario on PVOD or now streaming on the cock to watch this movie. That's not my business. Your parenting is not my business. My business is butts in the seats, popcorn in mouths, and money at the box office. So in that case, I am happy for Elemental because it means more money for theaters. But I don't think this bodes well for Pixar because they're, they have nothing coming that is going to build on this in any way other than sequels. So this movie did 
do a five times multiplier from opening weekend. And, and but we're not the opening gonna... weekend was one of the, I mean, the lowest in the history. It was just what it was 29 million. So, and, so... And, and it, that was almost as little as the first Toy Story in 1995, not, you know, talking about inflation. Cause we don't talk about inflation. Huh? No, we don't do inflation, huh? Huh? So you're not going to eat any crow. I refuse to eat crow on this. Absolutely not. W was there a number that Elemental could have done after that 29 million opening weekend that would have made you eat crow? Because here's the thing. I don't think that number exists. I think if this movie did 250 million domestic. Oh, 250. I eat crow. Of course. I don't think you do. I think oh, you say that crow. now. No, I, I don't crow. think you would have eaten I crow. I, I don't think, I think you're so dug in on I'm the anti-Pixar thing not answer. that See, a five times multiplier from its opening weekend isn't enough to get you to eat crow. And I don't think a 10 times multiplier would have got you to eat crow. Are you really sitting there, Pat, yes. to my right? Yeah. I can't even look you in the eye. No. You're looking at the side of my head, my bad side. Mm -hmm. And you're telling me that if this movie made a hundred million more than it made right now, opening under 30 million dollars that i would not eat crow i think you would still be saying nope, that i would eat crow. all of that extra money it's still uh 50 year old six year old people no and then, then i would have kids. to then i would have to amend because i don't think there's that many of those people there would have to be an actual interest other than the very specific middle-aged males who love to navel gaze and devote themselves to pixar and drag their children kicking and screaming and yelling for their mothers and saying, mama, mama, please help me. And she said, no, I can't because I, I daddy's can't. weekend. It's daddy's weekend. Cause these are, these are mostly divorced middle-aged dads. They're crying over monster universe, monsters university. And I'm not saying Nick one is that I'm not no, saying no. Nick one is that no. Cause listen, a five-star review. You're my best friend, Nick one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What I'm saying is that at this juncture, with this amount of box office, no crow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no crow. crow. Okay. No crow. But here's what I'll say. This is this is because I mean we're gonna talk about this at the end of the episode. Right. National Cinema Day. Mm hmm. It's coming. It's coming. It's and here. Elemental is still in theaters. Mm hmm. So this could get a bump. Yeah. It. It is there any potential? That any crow would be eaten by no, you because it's not going to make that much. What if what if this movie adds four million dollars this weekend? No. Has 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 an incredible National Cinema Day? The discount tickets just dry. Finally, it's not just middle aged, divorced men. It is also kids and teenagers and trend setting twenty year olds decide they want to go to elementary. Well, I mean, at that point, you're looking at okay this is what a Pixar movie is worth $4, which I can kind of agree with that. Again, there's, so there's so, always a caveat. To but what I'm saying, th that's the thing is that at that point you're talking, I mean, when flash was doing BOGO in its second weekend, I mean that if, if it takes a $4 ticket to get more interest in elemental, then we see where the interest is and how much people are willing to pay for that movie. Yeah. I mean, and also they know it's coming to Disney Plus soon, so it's not like that's also a thing. They, I mean, I think the four dollars is going to go towards other films, which we will talk about at the end of the show, and they're not going to go to Elemental only because they know it's coming to Disney Plus, and they already shelled out and probably got suckered into the Hulu, ESPN Plus, plus Disney fifteen dollar whatever. Right, right. So they're thinking, I ain't spending four dollars on that. I'm going to be able to watch this. Uh, when I, you know, in, in the privacy of my own home. All right. Well, enough on Elemental. It's only in 385 theaters this weekend. Yeah. So it's incredible. Uh, historic run is pretty much over at this point.